A fraud complaint filed with Georgia's insurance commissioner reveals a bitter dispute between a chain of body shops and an independent appraiser who's been critical of some of their repair work. At the heart of all of this, people afraid to take their newly repaired cars back on the road. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis investigated this controversy for us. That's right, uh, Sinead and Russ. Classic Collision runs a string of body shops in Georgia and in Alabama. Their attorney filed that fraud complaint and says the independent appraiser is needlessly frightening their customers. There's no doubt they're scared. Should they be? I was just like pretty upset. When Pam Skinner's Nissan Pathfinder got rear-ended in October, she was just grateful the other guy had insurance. Who knew she'd still be upset today? I thought insurance company, if somebody hits you, they're supposed to bring you whole. And I have not been whole. Classic Collision in Kennesaw worked on Pam's SUV. They came up with a repair estimate of around $7,700. Two months later, they said it was ready. Here's what it looked like. To Pam, it looked as good as new. Pam knew that insurance company owed her some additional money for diminished value because accidents can reduce the value of a car even after they've been repaired. She wasn't sure how much to ask for, so she sought out the advice of an expert recommended by a friend. It looks great on the outside. It does look great. It looks great. Yeah, but the inside looks horrible. David Montanero is not just a diminished value consultant, a former body shop owner himself. He's quickly become a thorn in the side of repair shops and insurance companies by publicly criticizing the quality of the work. A structurally misaligned car doesn't drive right. It's dangerous. In Pam's case, Montanero took apart the Pathfinder to check classic collisions repair. He criticized the body shop for not replacing the back lift gate and quarter panel originally damaged. Instead, the shop spending 18 hours repairing the damaged metal. Montanero told Pam her car should have been totaled by her insurance company and might not protect her in a future accident. It saves a tremendous amount of money to fix all these parts versus replace them. Classic Collision disagreed, complaining to the insurance commissioner that Montanero was operating as an adjuster without a license and illegally negotiating settlements with insurance companies. Montanero fired off a reply, denying the accusations and telling the insurance commissioner that he had actually found five cars repaired by various Classic Collision locations that had an inferior and unsafe repair and then delivered back to their unsuspecting customers. The company denies any unsafe repairs. Montanero told the insurance commissioner his critical reports convinced Classic Collision or the insurance company to later buy back cars from the customer. One of those belonged to Larry Friedman. See where they beat it all out right there? An insurance company paid Classic Collision in Alpharetta about $3,500 to repair Friedman's Mercedes. <laughs> Montanero uses Sugar Hill Collision owner Kevin Moreland to help with his post repair inspections. Moreland has been in the body repair business for 15 years. The two say they charge an average of $2,500 total, the bill they say typically paid by the insurance carrier after being made aware of poor repair work. Moreland thinks Friedman's Mercedes should have been totaled. Nobody can change the facts, and the facts are there is visible distortion to the unibody structure of that Mercedes. They put a new bumper on and put me back on the road, and my family in an unsafe vehicle. Should Freeman really have been scared to drive his repaired car? Well, after we began asking questions, Classic Collision hired three consultants to examine that Mercedes, which the insurance company had kept in storage. Two did find mistakes in the body shop's work, but not enough to justify totaling the car. One estimated an additional $750 of work needed to do the job right. The other, $2,000. They're basically saying the repairs were done properly. He's got an ax to grind with me right there. Couldn't you also say, though, that you have a bias when you do your studies? Mm, no, because I've looked at vehicles before where we put them back together and said there's nothing wrong with it. Get it out of here. Montanero filed his own complaint against Classic Collision, a collusion complaint with the U.S. Attorney General's office, claiming some body shops cut corners on repairs in hopes of getting a steady stream of future business from the insurance company. The Justice Department would not comment. Hoping to prove his point, Montanero secretly recorded a phone call he had with the manager of Classic Collision in Kennesaw. They were talking about the original estimate for Pam Skinner's car, the one that Montanero insisted needed a new quarter panel and lift gate. The manager, who once worked for Montanero, says his bosses turned down his request for those parts. I got all the big wigs involved. The big quarter needs a gate. Like, Ian, it doesn't matter what you want. Okay. 
no one from Classic Collision would talk on camera. In a series of written statements, a spokesman said that the work done on Pam Skinner's car is within industry standards and the least invasive. They've even offered since then to replace the parts for free in her car, even using, if she wants, a different body shop to do the work. But Pam Skinner has said no. The company says they've been targeted for a shakedown. They're saying that you're going around scaring people into thinking they're driving death traps when it's not really the case. Um, I, I would expect them to say that. Meanwhile, justified or not, the list of people scared to drive their repaired cars is getting longer. The insurance commissioner originally cleared Montanero of any wrongdoing with his business, but Classic Collision says they've since filed a fraud complaint. The state won't comment on that. Mm. So back to Pam Skinner, is she still afraid to take her car out on the road? She is. She will not drive that car, and she's now threatening legal action. Well, and others who haven't had a post-repair inspection, they don't know whether it was done right or not. They don't know. It's really hard to know, yeah. unless you hire him, and then that's a lot of money exactly. if the insurance company won't pay him. All right. Thanks, Randy. Okay.